Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Echo Fox and today I'm taking a look at Bionic Doos. This game is developed by Arkin Games. They are responsible for games like A Valley Without Wind and more notably uh, AI War, which is a real-time strategy game that has a lot of deep strategy and, well, from what I hear, excellent um, enemy AI. Anyway, uh, this I would best describe this game as a roguelike with giant robot mechs and customization and some some anime influences. So I should tell you if you're gonna like it or not. So why don't we why don't we uh, take a look and play a few minutes of this game? All right, so let's start it up. Um, okay. Okay, so when you first start the game, you're going to have four choices here. Or actually, no, I think you start with these four. Yeah, so you, you get four, and between these four, you can choose different mechs. So, for instance, I have a ninja here, a science, a siege, and assault. But if I wanted to, I could change one of these to... A brawler, a short range but un but unable to attack past the middle range, specialized in shaped area of effect attacks. That really doesn't actually sound that effective. I can also get a sniper, ultra long range. I think I'll go with the default with science ninja. Yeah, that sounds good. Definitely very interesting designs for the characters. It's it's not a horrible art style. It's definitely different, though. I'll say that. Um, and there's diff, diff, different uh, difficulties here. We could do an Iron Man if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I probably suck at this game as it is. Okay, these are just various options. Shorter campaigns on your toes. For increasing the difficulty, we'll just go normal and we'll click OK. The city's under attack by bot forces. Just launched a surprise bombing run against our main hangars. Destroyed all our exos save for the four you had with you on the training grounds. Practically still a trainee, but you're the last exo pilot we have. Our intel says you've got 50 days before the bots attack our headquarters in mass. Weaken them, strengthen yourself before that time comes, and then be prepared to fight them off our doorstep. If you fail, then failure's likely. Then our friendly corporate owners will invoke their amputation clause. In other words, they'll nuke the city to keep the bot rebellion from spreading. You know well as I do that evacuation is impossible. The other cities are just as full as this one, and even the shelters are overflowing with the needy. You've got 12 million lives in your hands, including mine and your own, so get to it. Okay, as the narrator said there, when we start off we have 50 days here, um, and as, as the game progresses, the enemies actually increase their numbers if we don't take out certain, I guess, um, enemy bases. Because they're robots, they can just, you know, build more versions of themselves, I suppose. So you have to slowly take out their bases, otherwise they'll just increase in number and strength and their technology will evolve. Um, I've never beat this game before, but I have played it. I remember playing a few hours of it before, but I never got to show you guys. So, um, as it says here, you have 50 days. Each mission will take one day to bring you closer. Each mission has consequences that will equip your Echoes... Exos, sorry, for exoskeleton, or weaken the enemy in the final battle. You can take up to 50 missions in any order, then the robots attack. So, 50 missions, that's pretty generous. Robot Command Center missions take 5 days off the clock instead of 1. Allowing you to, pro to provoke the final confrontation in as little as 30 days if you're, going to, if you're doing well. This may be wise. For now, don't worry, touch... Too much about the final battle, okay? Well, we're not going to get there in this video. I can tell you that because this is just a preview. Um, so 
I'm always the kind of guy that likes to scroll around. Oh, okay, now I can scroll. I guess that's the edge of the map there. Um, and we can zoom in. But right now, it's, it's trying to tell us something. We need to customize our exos, so let's do that. Alright, you get loot from winning missions, from hacking locked doors, and exploring behind them. And from spending credits at the store on the left sidebar of the city map. Okay. Customize your exos to suit your playstyle between missions. Getting to the final battle is only half the challenge. You will need creativity to design. Okay. So this is the assault exo, which is really freaking weird looking. These things almost look alien in nature. I mean, they're cool looking, but... Um, so we have, we have spots here for laser rifle, machine guns, grenade launcher, reactors. So what, what do we have? We don't have anything equipped. What is this? MK1 virus, consume 10 power, 15 virus points per mission. I think this is for our hacking robot, so we're not going to touch that. MK1 scanner, consumes 10 power, sensor range, okay. 15% ammo capacity. That sounds like a good fit for assault type. Oh, what's this? M1 hacker. Okay, more hacker stuff. Fifteen percent ammo capacity. Um oh I gotta click it and then Okay. I'm guessing just starting out we only have these few items here. So let's go to the hacker one. Or the science one, but this is the one that hacks, I'm pretty sure. Hacking, yeah, there we go. Um, Auto-equip one part. There we go, it'll equip it for us. So these go into his computer module, I guess. And they boost his stats. So if you can see there, um, on the left-hand side, it increases power usage. Um, this actually reduces his sensor range. He's already got a sensor range of 18. Um, does this increase anything? It increases our power usage. Gives us 110. 15 virus points per mission. Okay. I still don't remember all the mechanics, but we're just gonna we're gonna jump right in. Um, I don't think we have enough to go to the store, but let's see. How much money do we have? We have zero dollars. I thought so. <laughs> but yeah, I remember you can buy all kinds of stuff. It's like like I said, it's essentially a roguelike with you know, robots, or mechs, or exoskeletons. They need to make up their mind, because they look like mechs, but they're calling them exos, as if to imply they're exoskeletons that people get inside and pilot. But what do I know? Let's let's just do something. Let's fight stuff, kill stuff. Allied headquarters, okay. Store. Um, let's just go on a mission. I'm wasting time here. Locked. All right, factory. Excellent. We've discovered one of the factories where they have ma where they make robots. There are a number of fabrication machines. Blah blah blah. They're really you don't really need to read these. I can tell you they're pretty much all the same. You go into a procedurally generated map and you kill shit. So let's do that. All right. So I think you can start off. You can switch between your different robots. Sounds like it's electronic fire, but. Alright, so here's my robot. And this is actually turn based, like like a roguelike. Um and what direction you're facing definitely matters because if the enemy's looking at you but you're not looking at them and you, and they shoot you, well obviously you're gonna be vulnerable. Um and also I can zoom in and out so I can see the map here. I think these are doors, these flashing um crosshairs are doors. Oh, okay, where well, I can already see several enemies here. Well, what's this? Robot fa fabrication machine. So this is one of our objectives. There's an enemy there. He's a level one ammo bot. A walking ammo chest for its allies. Okay, it's probably gonna be really easy. So I'm gonna select my guy. Um, okay, so right click to attack, I guess. I thought, Let's see. Oh, the powers are over here. It's been a while since I played this, so 
toggle stealth. So I can use stealth. I think that eats up a lot of your energy, and your robots are limited by energy. Laser rifle, um, grenade launcher, light machine gun. I can switch between these weapons. So now that I have a light machine gun. <laughs> Alright, so he's dead. Um, do I have a grenades? I do. I have 14 grenades. And you'll see um, with the grenade the area of effect. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm really sucking at this. Okay. So how does this work? If I just... If I throw this here, is it going to blow my ass up? Oh, okay. So this is the area effect. What is this guy? Eagle bot. Straight from the windy foundries of Eagle Face Forest, when swooping, this eagle gets locked into the direction and cannot move in a different direction until they hit a wall. That's interesting. Well, maybe I can coax him into hitting the wall and um, then I can attack him. Let's try our laser out. And switch back to the machine gun, because that seems rather effective. Alright, we are only on the first mission, so I shouldn't get too cocky. What is that? Cover? Okay. This, this is, you can hear things, but you can't always see things, because he's blocked by this and this. I know something's probably there. Um... But that little red outline is telling me that something's there, but I can't quite tell what it is. Even though if I mouse over it, it does tell me what it is. It's a dumb bot. A range assault bot with questionable aim. This game does have a sense of humor. I also have to destroy this, so I think I'm actually going to back up. Kill this guy first. Oh, shit. Two dumb bots. Um, this is a perfect time for a grenade. I can't get both of them in one grenade, but I certainly can... Well, let's get this guy. And that guy, I think, no, he didn't take any damage because he wasn't in the the range of fire or the area of effect, I should say. Um, I'm barely taking minimal damage from these guys. Now I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna blow this up because I think we're supposed to destroy this. Makes sense. I mean, we're trying to stop the robots. So. Easy enough. Destroyed. And there are there there's there is loot in this game. You can get weapons and upgrades for your robots. Um, there's locked doors here. You see the locked door here. Impassable unless opened. Can only be opened by exos with hacking. This is where the other mechs come into play. And you start out with four of these robots. Um, if one of these dies, I'm trying to remember. Well, I know if one of them dies, I think you can repair them in the next mission or after the mission's over. But it's permanent death as far as the mission is concerned. One of them dies, there's no respawning. You have four, to, and we can switch between them. So I'm going to switch to this science guy, and he can hack this door. This door is effectively immune to your weaponry, and can only be opened if you disable the security measures by hacking. Alright, we'll click OK. Looks like we already hacked it. Entering the bay will restore the Echo Shields to maximum. Are you sure it cancel? So there are power-ups, various power-ups on, on the map as well. Sometimes you'll get into a tough spot. You'll want to take note of these. This guy I hasn't seen any combat yet. His shields are in perfect condition. I'm not going to waste that on him. Um, where's his shields? Some of these robots may not even have shields yet. So we're not, we're not going to worry about that just quite yet. Um, cover. Warp pad. When all your mission objectives have been completed, stepping onto this pad will warp you. Okay. I hear footsteps. So there's a door here. Who's this? A bat bot. Holder of a deadly kinetic burst weapon. But unfortunately, hovering on a very unreliable propulsion system. Well, good for us. Um, let's fire at him. Uh, 
If he would have shot us with that, I think he would have killed us there. Okay, this, what is this? An explosive rune. You survived to read this? Ah, well. More fun than a stack of dynamite in the eyes. These lovely floor-based beauties really love to be shot at. So much, in fact, that they'll mirror the effect of anything directly targeted at them to any other explosive rune within... So it's like an explosive thing. So if I were to shoot this... I wonder if I if I can hit this with a grenade. Does it amplify an explosion? Okay, maybe not. I don't get it. These runes are actually a warning label overlaid on top of sub four explosive equipment. I suppose if I used enough grades on here, it would blow up. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys should know that by now. Um, alright, so I can see the outlines here. There's one, two, three. Can I get a grenade in here? Um, if I chuck a grenade right there, it's not going to hit him. But I can coax him out. That's too close for a grenade. I'm trying to get multiple of these robots to come in this little narrow corridor so I can blow them up all at once. That's not going to happen. Okay, what's he doing? I'm trying to get him in here, I guess. If they could bunch up just like that, stay there. Oh, come on. What if I go like, no? Um, well, he could move in his next hit. Okay, so I just lo <laughs> I just lost that guy. He's dead. I got him blown up because I'm an idiot. But luckily, we still have four more guys left. What's this guy have? Rocket launcher, light machine gun. Okay. So that's the bat bot I was talking about earlier. He's got pretty powerful um, weapons, but he's not very bright and tends to blow himself up. Okay. This is a dumb bot. Invigorated dumb bot. A ranged assault bot with questionable aim and an overexcited demeanor. Okay then. I am really sucking at this. So there is a wait button. This guy, I wonder if we can use that the power up we saw earlier. There we go. So that is their shields. That's not armor. That's their shields. So his his health or shields are fully recovered. These things are in our way. I don't want to waste rockets on them though. Um, we only have one more objective to complete. We could literally beat the mission and not go to these side rooms and still win. But there's probably loot in there that we want to upgrade our bots or exos as they're called. So. Let's get back a little ways, and let's shoot our rocket in there. Okay. Oh, there's more guys here. Maybe this level's bigger than I, I thought. So this cover's in our way. I'm just going to blow it up. I'm just going to blow it up. And then I'm going to blow all of them up. There's still more left though. If only I get these guys in one hit. It's not gonna happen. This guy's a dumb bot, and the other guy's a dumb bot, so I'm not too worried. We're out of range though of my weapon. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you died. Okay. What's this? Computer terminal. Intel. This computer has secrets. Thankfully, it's actually not even plain hard to get about these secrets. It's kind of lonely. So if you just give it a truly light bit of hacking, the secrets are yours. Okay. So that's what the science guy's for. We're going to hack this. Links to... 
This terminal links to several surveillance units. Hacking it will reveal reveal everything in a fairly wide range, even through walls. Okay then. Did it reveal anything? It revealed stuff we already saw. So I guess that would come in handy um, if we haven't revealed parts of the map, but that was kind of a waste. There's still these two rooms over here, which and there's a room here as well. Um, where's the ninja? I think the ninja here has a welding laser, which I can use to get through all this junk and hopefully not blow myself up. Firing at this target will result in your own exo being caught in the blast of your own weapon. Yeah, we don't want to get too close. So it's a three tile attack, so I was standing, I guess I was standing in it. I was, so you stand like this, for whatever reason he attacks him, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, whatever. Um, open the door. Okay, there's more guys here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. I thought that was the last one. Looks like there's one more objective here. And tons of guys in here. Um, this guy has a rocket launcher. I wish I had grenades right about now, though. I think what I want to do... Let's hit this, switch to this guy, and hopefully not get blown up, and throw a rocket in here. There we go. And you know what? The mission's almost over. We'll wait for him to come. Oh, there's a big guy, an ego bot. Can I get both these in one hit? There we go. Now this is only the first mission. It gets relatively harder as you go. Plus there's Iron Man mode and you can change the difficulty. It's definitely a cool roguelike with a sci-fi edge. So if you're into that, you definitely enjoy this. And we'll blow this up. Blow this up. Um, oh, there's another guy back there. And there's a computer we can hack. So let's hack that. So these cost points. I just realized that. And we have 12 points. You can see here hacking 12 points. Currently has 12 points in this terminal. Costs one point to hack. Okay. I'm not really sure what happened there. We hacked it. I should have read what it said. Something happened. Should pay more attention. Okay. So I just got EMP'd. See that EMP? I forgot about this. So other robots, some have EMP weapons. They must be shielded from it because it doesn't affect them usually, but they can affect you, obviously. And uh, when that happens, it disables your weaponry. I wonder if I can go here, switch to this guy, go to rockets. We got one rocket left. Why can't I shoot this rocket? I guess I need a valid target to shoot it. There he is. Okay. You're dead. Um, what's that? Stealth generator bay. Fully restores stealth charge. So, we never use this ninja guy, but he can actually stealth. He's got a stealth, like, field he can use. I think it only works when he's standing still, though. While on stealth prevents enemies from seeing you at all. They will not be alerted by your presence nor filed, fire directly upon you. Firing, de deploying mines, or deploying sentries will break stealth. Except for ninja exo. You can only mean stealth a certain number of action total permission. So if I enable stealth... I think stealth is still active because he's got that little outline there. But eventually, it's going to wear off, because you can see my points are going down, and stealth is gone, and I changed, the outline changed. Okay, so this map is much, whoa, this map is much bigger than I anticipated. 
Okay. I thought this was going to be a short video. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. I love it. Procedurally generated maps, roguelike elements, robots. It's cool. I love it. Okay. Um, where's this guy? Let's break through this. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm, I shouldn't have wasted all those rockets. I, I swear that this was like the end of the mission. I'm an idiot. Um, welding laser. So I don't have any rockets left. So that EMP lasts quite a while, apparently. Is it broken? Well, I mean, theoretically, an EMP would fry all the electronics in it. So is this... Is this going to work next mission, or is, do I have to change it out, I wonder? Um, either way, we still have light machine gun ammo left. Let's shoot this. Let's blow this up. Okay. This isn't good. I just got EMP'd again. Fuck. I really suck at this game. <laughs> so I'm outranging most of these guys. So that's good. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to beat this mission. I'm sucking too much. I assume too much, which I shouldn't have. Now, if you hold the spacebar down, it will wait a turn. And that's just what I'm doing here. It is coaxing him in so I can attack him. Because a lot of these robots seem to have a limited firing range. And I'm usually outside of their firing range. It's probably the only thing that's saving my ass right about now. Okay, um, let's keep going. There's a bunch more enemies in here. I don't have any area of effect weapons left, which really sucks. I could stealth. No, I couldn't. I used it. I used it all up like an idiot. Okay, let's wait for these guys to come. Glass door. That's not a very effective door. Fuck! I suck at this game. All right, welding laser, go. I think I may actually lose this, but that's the fun of a roguelike, right? Losing, losing is fun. Speaking of which, one of these days, I there's a roguelike I'd like to feature that I've been playing for years. Um, come on. They do talk a lot, don't they? Okay, I guess that explains why they're wandering around and not towards me, because their AI is so bad. Like, intentionally bad. Like, some of these level 1 guys, like, it, it says in the description they're unreliable, propulsion systems, and... Come on. There we go. Oh, fuck. I think this is going to be the end for me. I don't think I'm going to be... Holy shit. Yeah, it's definitely a roguelike. Look how many robots are in here. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't have wasted all those rockets. Um... This laser's got quite the range, though. I think I'm gonna die right here, though. This eagle bot. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm wrong. 
Well, I hope that gave you quite a bit of preview. It's about 30 minutes of footage there. Um, I definitely like it. I, I don't know why I didn't play more of it. There's so many games. The problem, problem with Steam and Steam sales and just the industry in general, there's so many damn games. It's just hard to keep track of them all. But this game is pretty good. I like it. I like the sense of humor. It's a little cheesy, but that's fine. Um, I like the concept of a never-growing enemy. Like, if you see on the right-hand side here, their numbers keep growing. Um, and I like roguelikes in general, getting new equipment, leveling up, the random nature of, of, of levels and stuff like that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This game is available on Steam. It's about, right now it's on sale for 75% off, so it's actually $2.00. Um, two two U.S. dollars. I don't I don't know what the equivalent would be in your region if you're watching this from overseas, but it's really cheap. Let's just put it that way. Normally it's a ten dollar game, but for two dollars, I I wouldn't see why you wouldn't get this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.